The best things to do in Busan showcases the city's reputation as an important seaport in Asia. Frequently seen as the essence of South Korea, you'll experience a unique atmosphere in terms of ethnic and cultural diversity as the city welcomes a cosmopolitan crowd year-round. Busan has a rich cultural past and offers interesting cuisine, numerous temples, seaside activities and a relatively warm and welcoming population. Best of all, Busan is relatively quiet compared to most South Korean cities, making it a good destination if you're in need of a peaceful getaway. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 best things to do in Busan. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome travel guides and make sure you hit the notification bell so that you know when we publish a new video. So let's cut to the chase. At 10, Nakdong Estuary Eco Center. Nakdong Estuary Eco Center attracts animal lovers with experience programs, educational talks, and exhibits dedicated to Nakdonggang River. The wetland area surrounding the center serves as a habitat for migratory birds and attracts those looking to learn about the estuary. Nakdong Estuary Eco Center also has plenty of family friendly attractions such as picnic grounds, hiking trails, and an observatory overlooking lush trees and tidal flats. Next up at 9, 40 Step Culture and Tourism Theme Street. 40 Step Culture and Tourism Theme Street commemorates the post Korean War culture in Busan. A number of lampposts, sculptures, and bronze figures decorate the 450 meter long street to highlight the hardship and the life led by peasants of old times. Also known as the 40 Gedan, the place is well connected to the rest of the city. Check out the Gate of Peace near the Jonggangdong Trade Center, where a small light, a symbol of peace, casts over the 40-step culture and tourism theme street. So uphill one way, downhill the next. At 8, Yongdusan Park. Yongdusan Park, located in downtown Busan, is home to some of the city's most important monuments. You can see spectacular views from the top of the 120-meter-tall Busan Tower. The park has two museums. Check out traditional musical instruments at the Museum of World Folk Instruments and over 80 Korean sailboats at the Exhibition Hall of World Model Boats. Yongdusan Park is also where locals enjoy outdoor activities, from jogging and cycling to picnicking with views of lush trees, pavilions and statues of Korean figures. From March through November, the park hosts traditional performance on Saturday afternoons. Next up at 7, Busan Museum of Art. The Busan Museum of Art is a must-visit for fans of contemporary art. The museum is divided into five floors, comprising exhibition halls, educational rooms and archives, while a sculpture park is located outside the building. It takes about two to three hours of dedicated viewing if you want to have a look and feel of what Korean modern art is all about. At 6, Jakalchi Market. Jikalchi Market is one of South Korea's largest seafood market. You'll see a variety of fresh and dried fish such as mackerel, acidians and crab displayed in wooden boxes along the road outside of the market. The fish market at Busan is also where you can experience life in a busy seaport town, get along with the local people, no fighting over the fish please, get to know their culture and try some really interesting seafood during your visit. At 5. Hyundai Beach. Hyundai Beach is home to the Busan Aquarium and a number of recreational areas. The beach tends to get rather crowded during the months of June and July, so plan your visit accordingly. Along the shoreline, you'll find numerous shops, restaurants and hotels, ranging from luxurious to guest houses. Sailing is a sought-after activity on Hyundai Beach, as it has one of the largest marinas in South Korea. At 4, Chai Dong Day. Chai Dong Day is one of the most popular recreational areas of the city. Named after King Taejon Mayol, this natural park was used by the king as a recreational area where he practiced of all things archery. Aside from its cultural significance, the park is also a great spot for catching views of the South Korea's distant islands. Taejong Day has a walking trail set along rocky cliffs overlooking Busan City and Daima Island. Tables are set up on a flat rock surface at the base of Taejong Day Lighthouse where you can enjoy fresh seafood with ocean views. 
Sounds great. At three, Songjiang Beach. Songjiang is one of the smaller beaches of Busan, where families often visit thanks to its shallow waters and fine sand. The 1.2-kilometer-long beach has a dock that rents out motorboats and offers cruises during the summer months. A popular vantage point in Songjiang Beach is the Songjiang Pavilion, where you can get to enjoy sunset views in the evenings. It's also one of the few public places in South Korea that allows alcohol, so there are many vendors selling beer and snacks throughout the day. Oh, go on then. At 2. Biomiosa Temple Biomiosa Temple is one of the greatest shrines in South Korea. It's located high up on the eastern edge of Gumjeonsa Mountain and is aloof from the hustle and bustle of the city. The temple's Daeongjong Hall is a well-preserved example of architecture from the Joseon Dynasty. You can also visit Ilju Moon Gate, a three-story pagoda dating back to the 9th century. While Biomiosa Temple is not too far from the city in terms of distance, it has an aura of seclusion that attracts tourists looking for a city break. And finally, at number one, Haidong Yonggungsa Temple. Haidong Yonggungsa Temple is a Buddhist temple located on the northeastern end of Busan. Built in 1376, it's one of the few temples in Korea built on the seaside. You get to enjoy views of East Sea on one side and beautiful mountains on the other. It has dozens of sculptures, statues and images, with Hakiyeop Bull and Dyuknam Bull being two of the most famous images of Buddha. Visit Heidong Yonggungsa Temple during the Lunar New Year and Buddha's birthday, fourth month of the lunar calendar, celebrations, when the complex is illuminated with hundreds of paper lanterns. And there you have the top 10 best things to do in Busan. Did you like what you saw? Let us know in the comments down below. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fantastic travel guides. See you next time.